Welcome to Hearst Productions. My name is Steve, and I hope you enjoyed that little clip. Uh, stay tuned to the very end, and you'll see the entire video then. But I want to start off by saying this video is not sponsored by Rowdy Energy Drink. And uh, yeah, we we did a couple videos on Rowdy, Rowdy where we compared to Monster Energy and Coke Energy, and you can check those uh, down below. I'll put the links down in the description. Uh, but it's on our other channel called Side Draft, and we talk about NASCAR and talk about their products. And this is one of their products. So I saw, I saw a video that Daniel Schiffer did on making a Coke commercial, and I thought it was pretty cool. And that's what inspired me to do this one. Uh, it, it looked really neat. I like the little techniques he used. And I didn't want to copy exactly what he did, but I did like the techniques, and I will try to use some of them here. Uh, since we had the the rowdy cans i thought hey what the heck so start off with our our little setup here we got the canon eos m50 and we are using the the kit lens and i use the kit lens because it's the only lens i have right now so uh, we've only had this camera for about three or four months so we haven't really got the accessories for it yet but i do like this camera uh, so we got set up on the tripod and just shooting forward uh, I did build uh, and I built this little frame here and it, to hold my lights I, we got two of the soft box lights hanging down I probably could have used just one but later on you will see uh, in the video where we make the cans jump up so I need a little space in between so I just use two lights so we had no shadows so we got our can set up and I was planning on going with a white base but the white cans and the white base probably didn't go so well. Uh, so that's why I changed it to uh, black. And I really like the black. It's uh, a matte color. And the the white cans really, really pop and really really shine out on that. And with the bright colors on the can, it worked work very well. We'll go into our first shot we got here. And we just got the cans all lined up. And the concept is to look like it's just one can when there's actually four all lined up together and so we, we tied our fishing line to the bottom of the cans ran them over to the hooks and at the end of the, end of the line we had these little washers and i had the idea of painting the washers a different color that kind of matched the colors of the cans and somehow it got mixed up oh. <laughs> this a lot. There, uh, you lied to us i lied to you we tied the wrong one to the wrong string but it happens but we got it figured out the idea was to have the cans come sliding in and they'll stop all in the same position so we shot it or pull it out and just do it in reverse so it works the first shot went fairly well i mean i was really impressed i really liked the way it turned out uh then later on we went and did a stop motion and the stop motion you know we had not had a long day of shooting and it's very frustrating uh yeah, we are very fairly new at making these kind of videos and shooting those but the stop motion went pretty well so we move on to where we made the cans go up so uh this is very challenging uh starting off my idea was to run the fishing line uh up to a pipe and I, I took pvc pipe and i cut four holes in it or i should drill I drill four holes can cut a hole but uh yeah i drill four holes in the pipe and i cut the top out so i can get the, the fishing line run up through and i tie my washers to the end of the line again and the only problem with this would be the the washers like to spin and with this with the spinning washers cause the lines to all tangle up so we had to take a little time to unwind all, all the all the lines and so I wrap down into the can it's very tough with these cans to try to find a center point where they go exactly straight up they wanted to tend to you know teeter one way or the other but it, it kind of turned out uh, pretty decent we just pull one at a time and they went up so it's worked really well and the final scene was kind of which you're going to see towards the beginning of it. Uh, 
where we try to make the can spin. And that's that's probably one of the toughest things we did was to make the cans spin. Uh, we, we did take the bottle cap and glue it to the bottom of the can, drill the hole in it, and we put screws up through the board. So we tried to, to put the fishing line around the cap and pull it, and sometimes it went good, sometimes it didn't. So we're gonna show you some little clips. Everything didn't go as planned. So here's a few clips uh, for you to watch, and I hope you have fun watching these because it was fun making them. <laughs> Good. Oh. Boom. To make the green go. Boom. Okay, do that. So, did you enjoy the little clips? Uh, I'm glad I made you laugh, and it made us laugh, and it was a lot of fun uh, doing that. Uh, but here's the moment you've been waiting on. You, you ready for this video to start playing? Uh, but before you do, please check up here uh, to, to see our other commercial we made. Uh, it was actually for a restaurant. Uh, a barbecue place. I mean, they got great food. Uh, it was fun to make. It was our very first time we ever uh, talked about making a commercial. They come to us and, and asked us if we do it. So we tried. So here's what that. You can check it and see what goes on there. But here's the video. I hope you enjoy it.